Hello everyone, Captain Cini here on board the Allure of the Seas on our day 9 of our transatlantic crossing and so far we have been making good progress and we've been very successful at avoiding all the different storms that we have had on our way to our home port. We are leaving the gale behind us and uh, what we are watching ahead of us is Hurricane Thomas. Uh, this time Thomas is uh, expected to track uh, south of us so uh, it seems like we're going to be able to pass uh, north of the hurricane at a very safe distance but of course we are monitoring that closely. And if all things happen on the ship, things are happening very fast, but actually as uh, things are happening fast here behind the ship, actually we started to slow down here on the bridge, as we are always timing the, the arrival time and also the, the best position to, to place the ship uh, between all these storms we have in the area. So today we start to slow down and of course every time that we change speed on the, on the ship, that affects the amount of power that we need to produce and that has a consequence on the amount of engines that we need to run on our engine room. So today, as I mentioned, we are slowing down and we are changing engines down in the control room. The Allure of the Sea has six main diesel engines, three big 16-cylinders and three 12-cylinder engines. They produce 97 megawatt and uh, equals to 135,000 horsepower. Uh, with that power plant, we are running the whole ship, including uh, propulsion and hotel load. Here you can see uh, the main switchboard. They produce power to this main switchboard. And from there we take our power to the oxypods, the boat thruster, the AC compressors. These are high voltage consumers. From there also it goes up to the hotel, the galleys, the cabins. You can also see that we have a very redundant system. This ship can be run only with two engines. We can have four engines out that we can still run uh, the ship. And you have uh, three propellers. You can run this ship with one propeller, that's no problem. It's a very, very redundant system. With this, that you have these three big engines and three small. That is helping us to find the right percentage of load. These engines are made to run around 82%. That's the most fuel efficient load you have on these engines. 